Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrubby Quick Designs and there is a new feature for Print and Cut in Design Space that is for using with writing fonts and drawing images. Oh my gosh, we have not been able to actually use a project using writing fonts with Print and Cut until now. And then there's a lot of great drawing images in Design Space and we haven't been able to print and cut those either, but we can today, so let me show you how. Okay, let me show you why I'm so excited about this new feature in Design Space. So I have these two black circles on here. They came from the basic shapes over here in your left panel, and I'm going to make the first one. I'm going to change that one to white, and I'm going to go into text, and I'm going to type in the word thank you. Okay. Now, when you type in a text, it always defaults into the Cricut Sans regular style font. But I want to show you how do you find the writing style fonts, because that's what this is all about. So I'm going to go into fonts, and I want to come over here to Cricut. So I'm going to highlight the Cricut. So now it's sorted everything that's a Cricut font. But now I want to find the writing style fonts. And those are always going to be in your Cricut fonts. And I can come over here to filter. And one of the selections on the bottom here is writing. So I'm going to click that. Now it has sorted all of the writing style fonts that are in Design Space for you. Okay, they're all alphabetical. And But you can see there's a lot of them in here. I highly recommend you have a Cricut Access membership because now you're really going to get a lot of cool writing style fonts. Um, I want to look for one that I like that's called Elizabeth. And now it has changed that regular cut into Elizabeth writing style. All right. Now with this, you can also use the curve feature, the new curve feature. If you haven't seen my video on that, you can watch that separately. I'm just going to do this real quick. Um, I'm going to go into the letter spacing here and just make that since I made this a circle. Okay. So we've got that on there. I can come over here to my layers panel and change that writing to red. Now, up until this point, this is still a writing font. It has the little pen, so it's letting you know you would insert your pen to be able to write it onto this circle. I'm going to show you that you can also make this a print and cut. So we're going to click on it. Up in your layers attributes panel, it's highlighted as write, but we're going to change it to print. Okay, so now you've seen that the little printer icon has changed to print. Up until this point, we've not been able to do that. So now if you send this over to your printer, this will print out on a piece of paper for you. Okay, awesome. Pretty cool, right? But I want to attach this to this image. So I can come in here, highlight the whole thing, go into my layers panel, and I can hit the flatten feature. And now it has flattened that writing onto my 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 background okay this could be a circle a square whatever shape you want to use okay so that's the first thing you can certainly go in and add an image to this as well um, and i will show you some examples of what i did here in a minute so that's the first thing you can do you can add your own you can add the writing fonts in design space to your images and flatten them now the other thing i want to show you i'm going to change this one to a lovely jade color and I'm going to come over here into images and I'm going to type in the word sentiment up here in the layers uh, in the filter panel and it's going to come up with all these sentiments. Now these are um, originally made for you to use with your Cricut pen so that you could write this on a piece of paper but sometimes you're in a hurry and you don't want to wait for the pen to do all that writing even though that's a cool thing to do but Maybe you, or maybe you need to make a whole lot of these and you don't want to take the time to do that. I'm going to pick birthday wishes. I'm going to pull this over, make it a little bit bigger to fit my circle. And I'm going to change this one also to red just because it's easier for you all to see. Okay. And I can now take this and also flatten it. Okay. So you can add your own writing style from the fonts in design space, or you can use any of the sentiment ones or right. make it just so y'all can understand what's going on here. So it will now send this to your printer, print these out, 
and then it will cut around the outside of these two shapes. So this will be a circle and this will be a circle, just like I showed you. All right, so I'm going to hit cancel. Now, maybe you need to make a lot of these. You want to make them for labels. They'd be great for labels to customize. Pretty cool, right? The other thing I wanted to show you that everyone I think will be super excited about is that you can now make your own invitations look really cute in design space. So I'm going to come over here to shapes, grab this square and I'm going to turn it into five by seven. So I've got that. I'm going to change it to green because I'm making a print and cut. I'm going to come over here into images. I'm searching for baby. I'm going to find a baby image that I like. I like this one. I'm going to insert that one. So we're going to make our own little baby shower invitation. So I'm just going to put this down here in the corner. All right. And then I'm going to go into text. So I'm going to put, uh, we're cordially invited to a baby shower honoring Sally and John on Saturday, May 18, 2000. Okay. So this font, I like this font. It is a writing style font call, um, and it is uh, Baby Steps. I'm going to take that. I want to go in. I know I want to center all of this. Okay, so it's done that. Um, I definitely need to make this smaller, right? So I'm going to come in and just kind of zoom that in. And then I want to change the writing to blue. Okay, and if I want to change the, the uh, letter spacing, I can do that too. The line spacing, I think, is what I want to do. So I need to make that a little bit tighter here with the lines. And then I'm going to move this over onto my invitation. Okay, then I'm going to highlight all of it and I'm going to come over here to flatten. And now I have this adorable print them cut uh, baby shower invitation. So if you were using, trying to get all those words on an invitation and you were using just the regular fonts and flattening it, sometimes that looks too crowded and isn't exactly the look that you want to. This looks like a really pretty handwritten little invitation with this adorable image on it. Now I want to go into images. And I want to look, I'm going to search for the word draw. Okay. Now what it's going to do is it's going to go in and there are all these images in design space that we could use with our Cricut pins before that were just drawn images, right? But some of these would take forever because let's see, these mandalas or whatever, maybe you want to make some coloring pages. So I'm going to take this one, this little um, cool little mermaid. I'm going to add her to this, and now I'm going to come into text, and I'm going to write, um, let's see, happy sixth birthday, Giselle. And I'm going to come over here to a line. I'm going to do some, not only some letter spacing, and I'm going to do some line spacing, so I'm going to make these so that they're closer together. Okay, so now we have happy sixth birthday, Giselle, and I'm going to change, I want to change the writing to red. Oh, I'm going to make it purple. She loves purple. Okay, and then I'm going to be able to take this and flatten that as well. And now I have created a coloring page card. So super cool. Um, I'm going to show you what that looks like printed out as well. Okay, now I want to show you a couple of other things about the drawing images. So I'm going to go back into images. We're looking at draw. And there's one that I really like that's called sparkle. I just know that one's already called sparkle. So I'll go find that one. And we're going to click on that. And it is from a cartridge called color happiness okay so that's a cool one to go look for okay so now when this one comes in let me 
just make it like a six by six here. Okay, so when this one comes in, it is already on, it's already a writing a drawing image on a white background. Okay, so we can change this to a print and cut file. All right, but I want to go ahead and change the color to maybe this beautiful gold metallic. Okay, that looks cool, right? And then I can go in and I can change this to a print and cut file. Okay, so now it is going to print and cut this and it's going to cut around the outside. So it's going to print and cut it on that white square that it came in with and it is going to then cut that out. All right, so I'll show you all an example of this in a minute. But I want to go in and take that same image Okay, I'm also going to make that one six inches wide and I'm going to take that same image but now I want to hide that background shape so I only have the actual drawn image shape and I'm going to turn that into make that one gold too and I'm going to change that into a print and cut okay so now this is going to print and cut but it's not going to be on the background paper so let me show you what that looks like so this one says print and cut right so it's going to print it on the white paper and it's going to cut out where you see the outline for the image now the other image just says print so it is going to print, but it's only going to print the image. It's not going to cut it out. All right. Right now, you cannot, Cricut cannot get rid of the, the bounding box that goes around that, that it scans to cut it. So I'll show you what that looks like. Um, and hopefully, maybe in the future, we'll be able to change that. But that's what it looks like for right now. So let me show you. And then you can just cancel out of that. So let me show you what all these things look like, actually done so the first thing that we talked about was that you can make your own uh, shapes in design space and add the writing style fonts to your own to your images this is that first one that I made I made this super big so y'all could see it easy but look how pretty it is and instead of showing the writing of the pen lines when you use your pen, your Cricut pen sometimes you'll see those pen lines it looks really smooth and printed and it looks like it's hand lettered on there which is super nice so um, you can do that the other one that we did was the one that was the sentiment that was already designed in design space and we were able to use that as a print and cut file as well and think of it you can make a whole bunch of those and make them little um, stickers or you can make little package um, you know things or tags or whatever so it's really cool to be able to do that and the other thing you could do remove that out of the way the other thing you can do is that you can just do the print and cut uh, writing style and have it not cut it out okay so that was another option I haven't quite figured out why I would want to do this uh, because I love just cutting with my Cricut but you are able to do that so I wanted to show you this was just it says thank you teacher and it will not cut it out all right so that was another option if you just flatten it and don't attach it to a background shape it'll just print out on your paper okay so that was the other thing now uh, there is also the thing I'm most excited about with this is being able to make your own invitations using it so it looks more like a hand lettered um, you know design as opposed to using just the regular Cricut fonts and I just thought that turned out really super cute okay so I'm happy with that so that's the invitation now we talked about the, the drawing images so this one was the one that I showed you where I took a drawn image in design space and I was able to flatten that and the words on this so I could make my own little coloring card to give my granddaughter for her birthday so that's really fun and the other thing I wanted to show y'all was the one where we had the sparkle image which was a drawn image that then we were we flattened it and it came in with its own background already attached 
okay I changed the color to the gold color and um, then this was a print and cut and it was already attached to a square so it cut out that square just like this okay so that'll make a really cool coloring project or even just to put on something I just loved how it turned out all right but that same shape we also got rid of that background and we just had it print the background on our page without it cutting out the shape so right now like I mentioned we cannot get rid of that banding box around the images just yet hopefully Cricut can change that for us in the future so I'm not quite sure how I would use this exactly uh, because I wouldn't want this uh, banding box to be on it but it is something you can do so it'll cut it out or it'll just put it on there so these were just other examples of other images in design space where I was able to uh, just send them directly flatten the image these drawn images and send them directly to my printer now the last thing I wanted to show you was I didn't do a video on this part but this was a pre-designed card in design space where you're supposed to use your Cricut pen and what I did was I just flattened each of the layers I changed the pen colors I flattened the layers and then I printed out the card and I also wrote a little note for the teacher and then put that card together so uh, use your imagination find lots of cool things to do in design space um, using this new print and cut with the writing fonts and the drawn images. Thanks for watching. Please come join us in our Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group or my Cricut Maker with Debbie O'Neill group. Be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell icon so you'll know every time I put out a new video there's lots of them coming your way.